हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इलास्टिसिटी एंड टैक्स इंसिडेंस वेन अ गुड इज टैक्स बायर्स एंड सेलर्स ऑफ द गुड शेयर द बर्डन ऑफ द टैक्स बट हाउ एग्जैक्टली इज द टैक्स बर्डन डिवाइडेड दैट मीन्स हु विल बियर मोर बर्डन ऑफ द टैक्स a tax burden falls more heavily on the side of the market that is less elastic let's understand this thing in more depth first we need to understand that what is price elasticity of demand the price elasticity of demand measures how much the quantity demanded responds to a change in price demand for a good is said to be elastic when the quantity demanded responds substantially to changes in the price this happens because the buyers may have good alternatives to consume that particular good suppose that there is a good coke suppose that there is a good coke if this good is taxed that means price paid by the buyers price paid by the buyers for coke will be increased right and this increase in price will lead to decrease in demand for coke right but there will be a large decrease in the demand for coke because the buyers are having its good alternatives there are various soft drinks that the buyers can consume and that is a reason demand will decrease by a substantial amount so in this case we will say that the demand for a good is elastic in this case buyers will be more willing to leave the market when a good is taxed because the buyers are having good alternatives of coke so they will be more willing to leave the market for coke when it is taxed and thus they will bear less of the burden of the tax because when they are leaving the market definitely uh, they will bear less of the burden of the tax demand for a good is said to be inelastic when the quantity demanded responds only slightly to changes in the price this happens because the buyers may not have good alternatives to consume that particular good suppose that there is a good tata salt okay now suppose that this good is taxed so when a good is taxed price paid by the buyers increases right and this increase in price will lead to decrease in demand so the demand for tata salt will be decrease but there will be a slight decrease in its demand because the buyers are not having its good alternatives there are not various alternatives of salt so that is the reason demand will decrease but not by a substantial amount and in this case we will say that the demand for a good is inelastic in this case buyers will be less willing to leave the market when a good is taxed because they are not having good alternatives so they will be less willing to leave the market for tata salt when it is taxed and when they will remain in that market only they will bear more of the burden of the tax now let's come on to the supply side the price elasticity of supply measures how much the quantity supplied responds to a change in price supply of a good is said to be elastic when the quantity supplied responds substantially to changes in the price this happens because the sellers may have good alternatives to produce that particular good 
uh, suppose that there is any good and it is taxed when a good is taxed price received by the sellers decreases we have already seen in our uh, previous videos that when a good is taxed price received by the sellers decreases so definitely supply will also decrease right now in this case supply will decrease by a large amount because the sellers are having its good alternatives sellers are having good alternatives to produce that particular good so supply will decrease by a substantial amount by a large amount and in this case we will say that a supply of a good is elastic in this case sellers will be more willing to leave the market when a good is taxed because they are having its good alternatives so they will be more willing to leave the market when a good is taxed and when they are leaving the market they will bear less of the burden of the tax supply of a good is said to be inelastic when the quantity supplied responds only slightly to changes in the price this happens because the sellers may not have good alternative to produce that particular good when a good is taxed price received by the sellers decreases so supply will be decreased but there will be a slight decrease in supply there will be a small decrease in supply because sellers are not having its good alternatives okay and that is the reason we are saying that the supply of a good is inelastic in this case sellers will be less willing to leave the market when a good is taxed because they are not having good alternatives and when they will remain in that market only they will bear more of the burden of the tax let's see our first case which is elastic supply and inelastic demand elastic supply elastic supply means that the quantity supplied will respond substantially to a change in price when a good is taxed price received by the sellers price received by sellers will be decreased right in this case supply of a good will be decreased but because there is an elastic supply so supply will decrease by a substantial amount why substantial amount because sellers are having good alternatives to produce that particular good and they will be more willing to leave the market when a good is taxed and when they are leaving the market they will bear less of the burden of the tax so in this case sellers will bear less burden of the tax okay now inelastic demand inelastic demand means that when a good is taxed price paid by the buyers price paid by buyers increases this will lead to decrease in demand for a good but because the demand is inelastic demand will decrease by a small amount by a slight amount because the buyers are not having good alternatives to consume that particular good uh, in this case they will be less willing to leave the market when a good is taxed and when they will remain in that market only they will be a more of the burden of a tax so in this case buyers will bear more burden of the tax now let's understand this uh, thing with the help of a figure 
here we have two axes on the vertical axis we have taken price and on the horizontal axis we have taken quantity because there is an inelastic demand so the demand curve will be steeper as you can see in this way demand curve is steeper and because there is an elastic supply so supply curve will be flatter supply curve is flatter intersection point is the equilibrium point and the equilibrium price can be termed as price without tax now when a good is taxed suppose that this is the price which buyers pay and this is the price which sellers receive and this portion is tax so tax drives a wedge between the buyer's price and the seller's price now focus on this part this portion this one this is the burden of a tax which is borne by the buyers and this portion this one this is the burden of a tax which is borne by the sellers so as you can see that the buyers bear more burden of the tax and sellers bear less burden of the tax before proceeding to case 2 one more thing which i want to discuss is you can notice that i have not drawn any new demand or new supply curve because which curve will shift it depends that on whom the tax is levied if a tax is levied on buyers, then demand curve will shift. If a tax is levied on sellers, then supply curve will shift. But this is irrelevant for the incidence of the tax because how the burden of a tax is divided, it depends on the relative elasticity of demand and supply curves. And that is the reason I have not drawn any new demand or new supply curve. Now let's come on to case 2. Inelastic supply. Inelastic supply means when a good is taxed, price received by the sellers, price received by sellers decreases. When the price received by seller decreases, supply is going to be reduced, right? But in this case, supply will decrease by a slight amount, by a small amount, because the sellers are not having good alternatives to produce that particular good. And in this case, they will be less willing to leave the market when a good is taxed. And when they will remain in that market only, they will bear more of the burden of a tax. So in this case, sellers will bear more burden of the tax okay now let's come on to demand side elastic demand when a good is taxed price paid by the buyers price paid by the buyers increases this will lead to decrease in demand for a good but demand will be decreased by a substantial amount by a substantial amount because the buyers are having its good alternatives to consume that particular good and when a good is taxed they will be more willing to leave a market because they are having good alternatives and when they are leaving the market they will bear less of the burden of a tax so in this case buyers will bear less burden of the tax Now let's understand the same thing with the help of a figure. So we have two axes 
देर इज एन इलास्टिक डिमांड डिमांड कर्व विल बी फ्लैटर एज यू कैन सी इन दिस वे डिमांड कर्व इज फ्लैटर एंड इन इलास्टिक सप्लाई और सप्लाई कर्व विल बी स्टीपर supply curve is steeper intersection point is the equilibrium point and the equilibrium price can be termed as price without tax now suppose when a good is taxed this is the price which buyers pay and this is the price which sellers receive the gap between them this is a tax so tax drives a wedge between the buyer's price and the seller's price now focus on this part this portion this portion denotes the burden of a tax which is borne by the buyers and this portion this one this denotes the burden of a tax which is borne by the sellers so as you can see that the buyers bear less burden and sellers bear more of the burden of a tax clear thank you